Okay. In this problem, uh, we have the population of Chandler in 1980 as 30,000. In 2003, it had grown to 170,000. So the first question is, assuming the growth was exponential, what was the annual percent growth rate? All right, so what we need to do is we need to figure out um, by how much uh, this thing went up over these 23 years. I'm going to show you uh, how we'd set this up as an exponential function, and I'll show you a nice shortcut for this afterwards. So typically, um, an exponential function has the form y equals a b to the x or the t. We'll use x for now for time, number of years since 1980. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an exponential model for each of these. So we know that the output's 170,000 when the time was 2003. And if you want to use the whole year, that's fine. Or if you want to use number of years after 1980, that's fine. Um, I'll show you how it works if we use the whole year because that'll be nice in general. You can apply to a lot of problems. Um, and then the other one is 30,000 equals AB to 1980. Okay. Nice thing about this method, you can use it to find an, any exponential function between two points. What we're going to do is use elimination by dividing the two because the A's cancel. We get a whole bunch of canceling over here. So that just becomes 17 over 3 equals b. Now the exponents add to the 23rd. Well, notice where the 23 came from. It was the number of years. 17 over 3, well, that's the population in 03 divided by the population in 80. To solve for b, we just have to raise both sides to the 123rd. 3 to the 123rd. And I said I'd show you a shortcut for these kind of problems, well notice what B is. It's the output in, it's my second output divided by my first output raised to the one over the time in between them. That will always work for looking for the percent growth between two points. Now let's go ahead and calculate this sucker and see how it comes out. So 17 divided by 3 and then this is important that 1 over 23 has to be in parentheses, otherwise this won't work. And then you also need to put in divided, otherwise it won't work as well. Okay, so I've got that it came out to be 1.07833. That's my growth factor, not my growth rate. Okay, because that's my B, that's my base of my exponential. To turn a growth factor to a growth rate, you subtract 1 and multiply by 100 to turn it into a percent. So, subtracting 1 will give us 0 0.07833. Multiplying by 100, we'll move that decimal point two places, and we get 7.83%. So our annual growth rate is 7.83% per year. <clears throat> now, to give a formula as x is the number of years since 1980, we have our base b, or our growth factor. So that's the part that gets raised to the x. We need our a. Well, we're using a, 1980 as our initial, so 30,000 is our initial. Our base is 1.0783. So putting it into this model here, we have y, y equals, or p equals in this case, 30,000 times 1.0783. 0783 to the x. And there's our model.